Well, when it comes to marijuana, a lot of research focuses on consumption, but there isn't a lot of analysis on the production side of it. WENY's Cody Carlson sat down with an Ithaca College professor who's extensively researched the environmental impact of marijuana farms. This is the first ever systematic study of cannabis production that we know of. Meet Jake Brenner, an associate professor in the Department of Environmental Studies and Sciences at Ithaca College. Brenner and Van Bustick, a professor at the University of California, Berkeley, wanted to look at the impacts of marijuana farming. After conducting a study of cannabis grows, or farms, in Humboldt County, California, they found there could be a negative environmental impact. They're far away from roads, so they're very remote. And so there's high potential for habitat fragmentation and there's high potential for erosion and runoff of agrochemicals and things like that. The test area of Humboldt County, California was chosen for a specific reason. It's part of what is known as the Emerald Triangle, which is responsible for 80% of cannabis consumed in the U.S. Endangered species in that area could also be harmed. Cutthroat, steelhead and coho salmon are all at risk. Their habitats are in the headwater streams of uh, tributaries of that part of the country. And that happens to be where most cannabis grows are located. While marijuana farming in the test area of Humboldt County showed there is a negative environmental impact, there is a positive economic impact. In fact, the study showed it could bring in over $1 billion in retail per year. Cannabis can outpace all other agricultural crops uh, and nursery crops combined. Brenner believes if recreational marijuana were to become legal, one way to cut down on the negative environmental impact would be to regulate it like an agricultural crop. The full study is published in the journal Environmental Research Letters. There is a link to that on our website, WENY.com. Reporting in Ithaca, Cody Carlson, WENY News.